Bishop Briscoe, Restoration Free Gospel in Lexington Park, Maryland. Amen. We have another Bible study night. Amen. We thank you for joining in us with us, those, those that's on social media. Amen. Those in the house, we praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for another night. Amen. To come and worship and to glorify our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God again for each and every one of you that decided to come and be a part of the service. We encourage you to come into the house sometime. Amen. If you're watching us online and if you're able, come visit with us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Go on social media and send us a, uh, send us a message. Amen. To let us know how you enjoyed the message or not. That has been a blessing to you. Amen. And if the ministry has been a blessing to you, you, there's nothing wrong for you to bless the ministry back. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the awesome mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you for you. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for the shedding of his blood, God. We thank you that he went in the grave and conquered death, hell, in the grave and rose one day with all power in heaven and earth. And God, we thank Thank you for our Savior, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We got a, We started this month, February, as we normally do with a series. Amen. And our series for the month of February was says, as the children of Israel came up out of Egypt, they had a saying that said, they said, can God. Amen. You'll find that in Psalms 78 and 19 where the children of Israel said, can God. Amen. And, and when we look at this month of February, amen, amen, that we don't come through that, but it was called the wilderness babies. Amen. The wilderness children. Amen. Amen. And God did so many things for them. He worked so many miracles. Amen. And they got to it in and ask, can God. And I hope you never get to that point where you would question God, whether what God can do. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We have seen him where he stopped the sun and it backed it up. And he, he have done this and he, he, he healed. Amen. And the children of in the, when, in the Israel, in the wilderness, amen, there was times they had no food and he gave them bread. Amen. We call it manna. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There were times they had no water and Moses smoked, smacked the rock, smoked, smoked the rock and water came out of a dry rock. Amen. There were times they didn't have no meat and he called, he caused quails to come in and gave them meat. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's the kind of God we serve. And they asked God back then, can God? Now, at the end of this month of February, amen, we start a series, not a series, we close the series out that, that says, Lord, yes, you can. We should be grown up enough in the Lord and in the word of God, amen, that we don't have to say, can God, amen, at the wilderness babies did. We can say, Lord, yes, you can, amen. Matters not what we're going through, matters not what we deal with, amen. We know that God is a healer. We know that he's a deliverer. He knows that he's everything that we need. He is God, amen. Thank you. We're going through a few scriptures tonight. We're going to move kind of swiftly, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're going to turn to Matthews chapter 8, verses 5 through 8. Amen. We're going to be in Matthews for at least three scriptures. Amen. Four scriptures in Matthew. So don't, don't run away from the book of Matthews. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Matthews 8, 5 through 8. Amen. And, amen. And it reads. And when Jesus was entering to Capernaum, uh -huh. there came unto him a cent centurion, uh -huh. beseech, beseeching him. him. Uh -huh. And said, uh -huh. Lord, my servant lieth at home mm -hmm. sick amen. of palsy. Sick of the palsy. Grievously tormented. Grievously tormented. Amen. And Jesus said unto him. Yes, what did Jesus say? I will come and heal I'll him. I'll come and heal him. Amen. Read. The centurion answered uh -huh. and said, Lord, mm -hmm. I am not worthy that mm. thou should have come under my roof. Mm. Come on now. But speak the word only. But speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. This man, was he's a centurion officer, he was a Jew. I mean, he was a Roman, a Roman. He wasn't even in the church, amen? But he believed God. He said, I'm a, I'm a man under authority like you're a man under authority. I'm not even worthy for you to come under my roof, amen? But if you would just speak the word, what word? Not just any ordinary word, amen, but the word of God, amen? We thank God tonight for the word of God. Back in the wilderness, they, they didn't have all the books that we have today, amen? But we thank God for Jesus walking the earth and healing, and we saw this thing, amen? We've seen it over and over in the book. The Hebrews said that we are covered by our great cloud of witnesses amen there are things that we have seen and people we have seen that god has healed in this man he came to god on the on behalf of his servant that he was sick 
homesick of the palsy. You might have somebody homesick tonight. Amen. You might have somebody sick tonight. But get in God's word. Believe God with his word as this man said. But speak the word only. Speak God's word over him. Amen. Where you say, God, you said. You said that you can heal, amen? God, I believe you. And all these scriptures that we have, if you read them for entirety, they'll say, by your faith, by your faith, by your faith, they're healed, amen? Let's go to the same Matthew, we're going to the ninth chapter, amen, and the 27th verse, amen? 27 to 30, 9, 27 and 30. <clears throat> and the Bible Thank you, Jesus. And the Bible reads, uh -huh. and when Jesus departed thence, mm -hmm. Two blind men followed him. Two blind men followed him. Uh huh. Crying, crying, and saying, Uh huh. Thou son of David, thou son of David, have mercy have on mer us. Blind men following Jesus. It's amazing how when you're blind, you can still follow Jesus. My Amen. God. Thank you, Jesus. Two blind men, <laughs> but they have a need. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Then they following Jesus. Read. Saying, uh huh. Thou son of David, thou son of David, have mercy on have us. Have mercy on us. Amen. And when he was come into the house, when Jesus had come into the house, the blind men came to him. The blind men came to him. And Jesus said unto them. Jesus said unto them. Look, look what Jesus said unto them. Uh -huh. Believe ye that I am able to do this? Do you believe that I'm able to do this? Amen. Jesus works off of our faith. Amen. Hallelujah. He works off of our faith. Amen. That's why the text is tonight. Lord, yes, you can. You need to say that a few times tonight. Can let's, let's start practicing that now. Say, Lord. Lord, yes, you can. Yes, you can. I don't care what you're going through. I'm going to say it again. Lord, Lord, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, God. I'm not going to be at the willingness baby and, and question God. Can God? I'm going to say tonight, Lord, yes, you can. Yes, you whatever can. I'm dealing with, whatever I'm going through, Lord, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Thank you. How time like this? Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Yo, Lord, yes, you can. Read. Believe ye that I am able to Jesus do this. Jesus said, believe ye that I'm able to do this. What did they say? They said unto him. They said unto him. Yea, Lord. You need to say yea, Lord, tonight. To whatever going through, whatever you're dealing with, you need to say yea, Lord. Yay, Lord, Lord, I know you can do it. Yes, the Lord. text is, Lord, yes, you can. Yes, yea, Lord, I know you can do it. Mm -hmm. You can bring me out of a situation. You can heal, God. You can deliver. You can clean my, you can work with my mind, God. You can help my, you can help my family my job home or whatever i'm going through yes you can lord yes you can lord lord yes you can thank you jesus amen 29 well we have gone we're gonna pick up 29, 29. 30. uh-huh then touch he their eyes then touch jesus their eyes saying saying according to your Ooh, faith didn't put no mud in their eyes amen mm -hmm. didn't spit in their eyes amen. amen there were times he did it to others but these he just touched their eyes mm. what did happen brother according to your faith according to your faith be it unto you be it unto you read and their eyes were open and their eyes was open and jesus straightly charged and them jesus straightly charged them saying saying see that no man <laughs> know it Lord, have mercy. See that no man, Lord. Now, you know, I don't walk for all these years with a white cane. Now, all of a sudden, I'm walking down the street, <laughs> stopping at red lights and things, uh, le letting the traffic go by, ain't asking nobody what color is the light, and you say, don't let nobody know it. Amen? That's the kind of God we serve. Lord, yes, you can. Tonight, my message is, Lord, yes, you can. I don't care what situation, whether I'm blind, whether somebody going to you on, on my behalf, Lord, yes. Yes you, can. yes, you can. Yes, you can, God. You can turn my situation around. Lord, yes, you can. He's looking at my faith and all he wants me to say. Lord, yes, you look what these men they when he asked them, could he do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Yea, Lord. Yea, Lord. That's all they said. They all to, to get their blindness. I don't know how long they've been blind. I don't know how long you've been going through a situation. Two words. God him out. Yea, Lord. Yea, Lord. Yea, Lord. Jesus said, Believe that I'm able to do this. Yea, Lord. Yeah, Lord, their, their, their blindness wasn't healed by a doctor, no. wasn't healed by mud in the eyes. Just them absolutely just saying, yay, Lord. Yay, Lord. Lord, you can do this. Go to Matthew 18, 25 for me. Amen. 18, 25. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, 9, 18, 25. Right in the same chapter. Uh -huh. 9, 18, 25. Backing up right in the same area. Read. While he spake these things unto uh -huh. them. 
while he spake these things unto them, behold, uh -huh. there came a certain ruler. There came a certain ruler. And worshipped him. And worshipped him. Uh -huh. saying, saying, have you worshipped Jesus lately? Thank you, Jesus. You know, it's just, it's just a matter of saying hallelujah. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, give God some, give God, you know, that's what I like about the Lord's prayer. He opens it up with, hallelujah be thy name. Lord, you know, that we praise God. We open it up with praise. Amen. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Read 18 again. Uh, while he spake these things unto them, uh -huh. behold, mm -hmm. there came a certain ruler uh -huh. and worshiped him, saying, worship him, saying, my daughter is even now dead. See, both of these scriptures from the, from the first one to this one, they come into Jesus on somebody else's behalf. You're not sick. Maybe you're not the person sick. But you come into Jesus like the man that was laid on a cot and four men was carrying him to Jesus. They, they, they couldn't get into the house, so they went up on the roof and tore the roof off and let the cot down. Hallelujah. Maybe you come into Jesus on somebody's behalf tonight, amen? You know somebody that's sick, somebody's in the hospital, somebody that's going through, amen? Look what it says here, read. My daughter is even now dead. My daughter is even now dead. But come and Ooh. lay thy hands upon her. Come lay thy hands upon her. And she shall live. Look at this man's face. Look at this man's face. If Jesus, if you would, she's dead. <laughs> but if you would just come and lay your hands, Lord, yes, you can. Thank you, Jesus. Old Testament, willingness, baby, saying, Lord, that they said, can God. But here in the New Testament and here in this new day, I'm saying, Lord, yes, you can. Yes, yes you, can. you can heal. Yes. yes, you can deliver. Lord, you, the blind men, all they had to do was say, yea, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Read. And Jesus arose uh -huh. and followed him. And followed him. And so did his disciples. So did his disciples. Amen. And behold, uh -huh. a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood, Had issue 12 of blood. years, 12 years, came behind him uh -huh. and touched the hem of his garment. Come on now. For she said within herself. Wait a minute. She didn't even open her mouth. She said it within herself. She thought this thing within herself. Uh-huh. See, that's why the message is tonight. Lord, yes, you can. Yeah. She done built up with this thing for 12 long years. Mm -hmm. But, Lord, I've made up my mind. I've come to a point to say, Lord, yes, you can. Yes, yeah. I'm tired of dealing with this issue. I'm tired of dealing with this situation. But, Lord, all you want me to say, Lord, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yay, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yay, Lord. Yes, you can. Come on, read. For she said mm -hmm. within herself. For she said within herself. If I may but touch his garment. If I may but touch his garment. I shall be whole. I shall be whole. Look what Jesus is looking for you tonight. He don't want you to jump through those loops. He don't want you to go and jump off bridges and do this. He wants you to trust him. He Amen. wants you to go into his word as the, as the blind men say, Yea, Lord. Yea, Lord. Yea, Lord. Mm. Believe me, I can do this. Yea, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Read. But Jesus turned him about. Jesus turned him about. And when he saw her, mm -hmm. he said, "Uh huh, daughter, daughter, be of good comfort. Be of good comfort. After 12 long years, if she knew that after 12 long years, all she had to do was to touch the hem of his garment. God. The scripture says that she suffered with this thing for 12 years. She spent all that she had. She got worse and all of this stuff was going on. Mm. But after 12 long years, she come to conclude all she said to herself, I believe. I believe. If I but touch the hem of his mm. garment, My God. but touch his garment, I shall be whole. Look what Jesus, look at the faith that Jesus, uh, it didn't take no, no antibiotics, didn't take no ibuprofen. Didn't do no surgeries. Just touch the Lord. Lord, yes, you can. Lord, yes, you can. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, read. Daughter. Daughter. Be of good comfort. Be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. Thy faith has made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from mm. that hour. That woman was made whole from that after 12 long years. That hour. The woman was made whole from that hour. Mm. Her faith to believe in Jesus. The faith to believe in the word of God. That's all you got to do tonight is believe in the word of God. Yes, the Lord. word is Jesus. Amen. Yes, That's Lord. what John says. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. And the word became flesh 
and dwelled among us. The word is Jesus Christ. Yeah, Lord. Believe in Jesus. Yea, Lord. Mm. Lord, yes, you can. Mm. You got to say that tonight over some situations Hallelujah. that you're dealing with. Lord, yes, you can. Yes, you can, yes, you can Lord. Simple things. Not something hard. That's why the, the, the servant told Naaman that when, when Elijah told him, go dip seven times in the, in the river. And he said, Master, if he told you something hard to do, you wouldn't have had a problem. But he just told you to go to the river and dip seven times. And he went to the river, and we know the story. He dipped seven times and came, so came up with his skin as baby skin. My God. Leprosy cleans. Yay, Lord. Leprosy cleans. All we ask you tonight is to say, Lord, yes, you can. Amen? Nothing hard to remember. Lord, yes, you can. I don't care what your situation is. Just say, Lord, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yeah, God, you can heal. You can deliver. God, you can work this thing. Yes, Lord. Lord, I believe. Yes, you can. Read. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house uh -huh. and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise. Yes. He said unto them, uh huh. What did he say to them? Give place. Give place. For the maid is not dead. For she's not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Her father said she was dead. The father said, My daughter at home, dead. Uh huh. And if you will come and lay your hands on her. But Jesus didn't say she was dead. Jesus said, Give place. He said unto them, Give place. Mm. For the maid is not dead. But sleepeth. But sleepeth. See, that's all happened when you die. You just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. That's all. Just go to sleep. Jesus says she sleepeth. Come on, read. And they laughed him to school. Oh, somebody going to laugh tonight. You're going, they're going through some situations. And this preacher is telling them, saying, Lord, yes, you can. The doctors then said, I, can, I can't understand where, but what the doctor said, the woman had the issue of blood. For 12 years, she went to the doctors. Uh -huh. We know that the doctors done pull the curtain. We know they're in hospice. We know they're here. We know they're there. But Jimmy Carter went in the hospice a year ago. Mm. Now, most of y'all know Jimmy Carter. Yeah. He went in the hospice in February a year ago. Jimmy Carter's still in hospice. But he's alive. Hospice is not a death sentence. You got to believe God. I got a brother that went in the hospice in June of 23. He's still here. Breathing every day on his own. Hallelujah. Like eight months later, you got to say, Lord, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Got friends that have come through hospice that they gave up on. Send them home to die. Send them home to die. And they're up and running full speed ahead. Yeah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All you got to do is say, you might have to do it for somebody. They might not be in a situation to do it for themselves. But you might have to. God is looking at your faith. Lord, yes, you can. Read. Look what it says here. And he said, un he said unto them, uh -huh. Give place for the maid is not dead, but, not dead, but sleepeth. But sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. Laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth. When the people was put out. Sometimes you had to put out negative things. You had to put out those that don't believe like you. Sometimes you got to come in the room and say, look, y'all need to leave one minute. If they don't leave, just take your faith and go over top of everything that's there Hallelujah. and believe God. You believe God. Hallelujah. Pray. And believe God. Hallelujah. Don't let them, don't let their unbelief affect your belief. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, come on, read. But when the people were put forth, uh -huh. he went in. He went in. And took her by the hand. Took her by the hand. And the maid arose. And the maid arose. The word took her by the hand. And the maid arose. Go to 17th chapter of Matthews. Amen. 17th chapter of Matthews. We staying right in Matthew here for a while. We get ready. Going to do 17th chapter. Amen. See, for you to get these healing scriptures. You need these healing scriptures. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Sickness is running rapid. People dying every day, going out of this world. Amen. There's no problem to go. We're all going to die one day. But you need to know Jesus. That's all right. You need to know Jesus before you go. Can I get you one more time and say, Les, Lord, yes, you can. Come on now. Lord, yes, yes you can. can. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, read Matthew 17, 24 through 27. And, and, read. and when they were come to Capernaum. When they come to Capernaum. 
They that received tribute money, uh huh, they received tax money. Came to Peter, came to Peter, and said, uh, "Does not your master pay tribute?" You might have a finance situation tonight, amen. You might be dealing with needing some money, amen. And the tax collector is standing at the door. The bill collector then sent you the final notice. We don't know what then happened. They might tell you that that the that the wrecker is around the corner to snatch your car tonight, amen. The electric man is is coming in the morning to cut Come your on, electric man. off. That the that the mortgage man is getting ready to put a foreclosure on you. We don't know what's going to happen. But look what it says for 24 read. And when they were come to Capernaum, uh -huh. they that received tribute money, they that received money, I don't care what kind of money, but you got somebody that wants some money from you. Come on, read. They came to Peter uh -huh. and said, does not your master pay tribute? Don't you pay your bills? Huh? Don't They want you to pay your bills. You promised with a promissory note that I will pay my bills and pay them on time. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's everything that God has called for us to pay. Amen. Come on, read. He said, yes. He's, and Peter said, yeah. And when he was coming to the house, uh -huh. Jesus prevented him, uh -huh. saying, saying what? What thinketh thou, Simon? What thinketh thou? Now, Jesus already knew what was going on. What thinketh thou, Simon? Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Who does the bankers take money from? Hey, they want your car payment. They want your mortgage payment. The electric company wants your electric bill. Oh, man, I, I, go, into the, I go to the post office and people think that I'm crazy. I walk in there and I said, I'm, I'm looking for my bills. I'm looking for my bills. I'm looking for my bills. They say, you the only one to come in here and say that. I'm looking for, I'm looking, first of the month's coming. First of the month's coming. See, I got to have the bills before the, be, before the first of the month comes, so I know what to do with the money when it gets there. Mm -hmm. I already got the bills, so when the check come, you know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. See, if, if, the, if the check come before the bills, I might be able to spend the money. Then the bills going to sit there. So the bills always come first. Like, and I tell them, I said, I'll wait for the 15th of the month. 15th, yeah, that's when the bill starts to come in. They always come in after the fifteenth. They say you the you crazy. You no. I said the only way to get out of debt, I have to pay my way till God send me an miracle. Mm -hmm. If God send me a miracle, then I pay them all off. But until then, fifteenth of the month, I'm looking for them because we're gonna pick at them, pick at them till they're gone. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, it's coming. I'm believing God for debt free. But, oh, y'all, you mean some of y'all feel like that? Yeah, God. I, I said, God, I give to you. I give to your people. I give my tithes and my offerings, God. I bless others. And God, you said, give and it shall be given. You didn't say just give. You said good measures. Pressed down, shaken together. Shall men give it to your bosom. God, I'm looking for it in my bosom, God. Hallelujah. Woo! Yay, Thank Lord. you, Jesus. Yay, Lord. Yay, Lord. What did it say? Do your master pay bills? Mm. Yeah, come on, read. Look what he says. What thinkest thou, Simon? What thinkest thou, Simon? Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Uh-huh. Of their own children? Of their own children. Or of strangers? Uh-huh, read. Peter said unto him, Uh-huh. Of strangers. Uh-huh. Jesus said unto him, mm -hmm. Then are the children free. Then are the children free. Last verse. Notwithstanding. Notwithstanding. Lest we should offend them. Uh-huh. Go thou to to the sea. Now look look how look how Jesus is. See, see, God can pay your bills. Yes, he can. In a very unique way that you never even that's why he said that, that God's thinking mm. is so high above men yes. as the heavens is above the earth. Look, I, I, I go working on my other land and, and, and I, I dig in the ground. I look for stuff. Come on, man. Man, y'all might not look for, I look for a blessing. I, I mean, if Jack Clampett went down there and shot at a rabbit one day and I put, oh, came the ground, came bubbling crude oil. Uh -huh. if, God, if, if you can do it with Jack Clampett and the Belly Hill Bill, God can do it with me. Hallelujah. Pull it down. I mean, I mean I'm looking for God. God's a unique God. We serve that kind of God. Yes, God sometimes will take a cousin, somebody as in the old days and bury it and put it in a jar and left it there. Yeah. Man, I moved the foundation of a building the other day. I went back. Somebody might have burned something by that foundation, that old foundation there. I didn't know. I went back and kicked around in there just to make sure yeah, there Lord. wasn't no jar bird in there. Yeah, Lord. Yay. I saw the other day where a man came, had a metal detector and dug up a wallet. Had, had all kinds of coins in it and everything. Lord have mercy. Things are still happening. Look, read, 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 read. Then, then are the children free? Uh-huh. Notwithstanding. 
lest we should offend them. Uh huh. Go thou to the sea. Uh huh. And cast in a hook. I like this. Go to the sea, Peter. Cast in a hook. And take up the fish that first cometh up. Take up the first fish, Peter. And when thou hast opened his mouth, when you open his mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money. Woo-wee. Look at the kind of God we serve. Hallelujah. You don't know where your piece of money is. You don't know where your piece of money is. Lord have mercy. Wait a minute, baby. I remember when when um, when Samson Samson killed the lion uh-huh. on the way to see his girlfriend Delilah. I don't know how long he stayed, but by the time he got back, the lion had rotten to death. Had rotten to death. Had been there so long that the bees done built a honeycomb in the carcass of the lion. So, see, you, see, God will take something that, that you done killed years ago and bless, put a honeycomb in it. Yeah, hey, Lord have mercy. So, Samson went up into the honeycomb, went up into the lion's carcass, then dug up the honeycomb, ate something, took him home to his father and mother. Now, he didn't tell him it came out of the carcass of an old dead lion. Yeah, we don't need to know where it come from. When somebody want to bless you, just say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo! Yeah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yay, yeah, Lord. Come on, read. Look what it says here. When thou hast opened his mouth. When you open his mouth. Thou shalt find a piece of money. Find a piece. I let old folk used to say that. Yeah, find a piece of money. Go find a piece. You go to them and they, they go in that little stingy bag. And they, no, they, they, they don't open up where you can see it. They, they turn their back on you. Yeah. And, and pull you out a piece of money. Piece. Yeah, Lord have mercy. Come I'm on now. Here. Come on now, read. Look what it says. You shall find a piece of money. You shall find a piece of money. That take. Look at that piece of money with enough money to do what? Come on, read. That take. That take. And give it to them. Give it to them. For me. It was, it was enough to pay Jesus and Peter's taxes. Amen. Two men taxes out of a piece of money. Woo. Huh? In the, in, the, in, the fish, in the fish mouth. Look at Jesus. Jesus can bless you yeah, Lord. out of unique ways. Hallelujah. You, unique ways. You got to trust Jesus. Deuteronomy. Are we finished with that? That's yeah. 27. Deuteronomy 29. Amen. Yeah. Real quick. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Deuteronomy 29. All right. Amen. Let's see what it says back there. 29 and 1. Deuteronomy 29 and 1. Find it real quick, y'all. Amen. We're going to move for time. Read. These are the words of the covenant uh-huh. which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel uh-huh. in the land of Moab. Go ahead, read. Beside the covenant which he made with them in her Another Herod. covenant. He done made another. This is beside the one we've already made. What did it say? And Moses called unto all Israel, all of Israel, and said unto them, "Say it unto them: Ye have seen all that the Lord did before you, your eyes. You have seen everything that God had did before your eyes in the land of in Egypt, the, in the land of unto Egypt, Pharaoh, unto Pharaoh, and unto all his servants, unto all his and servants, and unto all his land. I read the great temptations mm-hmm. which thy eyes have seen, mm-hmm. the signs and those great miracles. Come on, read. Yet the Lord has not given you and heart to perceive." Amen. And eyes to see uh-huh. and ears to hear uh-huh. unto this day. Until this day. And I have led you Look forty years Look in Moses. the wilderness. Moses said, I done led you for forty years in the wilderness. You you done seen all the miracles that God did for you in Egypt. That Pharaoh and the and the Egyptians saw all these miracles. He said, You have seen them with your own eyes. Mm. But now look what Moses said, yet the Lord has not given you a, you a heart to receive and eyes to see and ears to hear unto this day. And I have led you, look at Moses now with the testimony, I have led you for 40 years, read. In the wilderness. In the wilderness. Your clothes are not waxing old upon you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <sighs> Moses says that for 40 years, for 40 years, I've led you. Mm-mm-mm. For 40 years, God has kept you. Thank you, Lord. I, I have a problem when people don't want to bless God. Hallelujah. God, no way. Because, but, but Lord, yes, you can. Yes, you can. God, 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 I, I'm, God, I want to talk about my, I want to talk about the new series that's coming up on Sunday, but I can't go there yet. <laughs> can't go there yet. But look what Moses said. Moses said, and I have led you for 40 years. Mm. In the wilderness, your clothes are not waxed. Old upon you, 
Read. And thy shoes is not waxing old upon thy foot. Only way you can have shoes that don't wear out is that you don't wear them. And nowadays, they put glue on them. Even if you don't wear them, they can stand. The glue will come apart. I, I was out here one day for a fashion. We was having a program out here. We were having a good time. And the soles of my shoes came off. And people was wondering, why are you walking funny? I broke out a new pair of shoes I hadn't worn in a great while. And it wasn't stitched no more. They didn't stitch them no more. They said they, 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 they glue them. And the glue had dried up on them. I'm walking. People want. Why are you dragging your leg? I'm dragging my leg because my sole of my shoe to come. <laughs> now Moses said, "I done led him for forty years, and the clothes haven't waxed upon him." Come on, read. Look what in the shoes. And and the shoes are not waxing old upon and, thy foot. And the shoes have never even came apart on your foot. Come on. Ye have not eaten bread. You have not eaten bread. Neither have you drunk wine or mm. strong drink. Come on now. That you might know that I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord your God. Thank you, Jesus. That, that goes down to one through nine. You ready? And when ye came into this place, uh -huh. Sion, the king of Hishbon uh -huh. and of the king of Bashan uh -huh. came out against us uh -huh. unto battle, uh -huh. and we smote them. We smoke everything that rose up against us. We smoke it. Everything that come up against this church. Everything that come up against Jesus Christ. God smokes it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. And we haven't let your clothes wear. Haven't let your shoes mm. wear. God has been good to us Hallelujah. these eighteen years. Amen. For forty years, Moses Hallelujah. said, "I've kept you." Woo, Moses said, I've led you for 40 years, and God has kept you. Come on now. Mm. Read. And we, and we took their land. We took, woo. See, what God's got for you is in somebody else's hand. They, they keeping it until, until God takes it away from them. Uh -huh. Amen. It's yours. But somebody else is holding on to it. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you. John said, we went through those lands, and we, we smoked those kings. Amen. Took and took their land. Read. We took their land. And gave it for an inheritance. God gave it to us for an inheritance. Unto the Reubenites. Uh huh. And to the Gadites. Uh huh. And to the half tribe of Manassas. Uh huh. Keep therefore the words of this covenant. Oh, come on now. Look what it says. Keep the words of this covenant. And do them. And, oh, good Lord of mercy. And do them. Thank you, Jesus. And, that is. And do them. That you may prosper. That you do what? That you may prosper. That you do what? That you may prosper. Do, keep this word that you do what? That you may prosper. Keep this word that you may what? You may prosper. That you may prosper. In all that you do. In all that you do. Keep this words. That you may prosper. I know I made a covenant with you back there earlier, but I'm making a new covenant with you. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Keep these words that you may prosper. In all that you in do. In all that you do. Whew. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, yes, you can. Can I get somebody to say, Lord? Lord, yes you can. Yes you can. Yes you can, Lord. I thank you, Lord. And you are there in social media. Can I get you to say just one more time, Lord? Lord, let yes you can. Yes you can. God, we thank you tonight. God, we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor in Jesus' name. And Lord, yes you can. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for what you have done for us. We thank you for what you have supplied us with. We thank you for our healing. We thank you for the prosperity. And God, we thank you for the new covenant. Lord, that we may prosper in all that we do. Lord, yes you can. In Jesus' name we pray. We says amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord.